Okay, so today I'm going to introduce the topics of optional text, alternative text, and escape sequences in Cucumber Gherkin for Java. Hi, thanks for being here. I'm Nilton Santos and I am an Oracle certified Java developer with over 20 years of experience and I am the founder of the craftofprogramming.com. The craftofprogramming.com is an educational website focused on teaching general computer science concepts, programming languages, APIs and software tools. If this is the first time that you are here, then please subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, since I publish content regularly. Also, leave a comment below and share this video with friends. Let's get started with today's video. So, let's create here a uh, simple, um, you know, a new feature file, which we're going to call optional alternative escape sequences um, examples dot feature. Okay, and as usual, let's give it a name, which is just, um, you know, let's say examples of optional alternative and escape sequences. Uh, let's create our first scenario, which is, um, you know, let's say call a simple example um, with optional text. Okay, and as usual, let's given that my library is initialized. Let me show you here the book CSV from which, as you know, we're loading uh, books. So let's say that I want to do a simple assertion of the count of books, um, you know, per topic. So I know I have five computing books. Um, I know I have three sci-fi's, one finance and one novel. OK, let's say that I want to write. Um, so given that my library is initialized, then uh, I have uh, let's say top to bottom. So I have five, five books topic computing in my library. I have, um, what is the next one? I have three books with topics sci-fi in my library. I have um, one book with topic finance and I have one book with topic novel in my library. Okay. So it's a simple thing that I, a simple assertion that I want to write and let's uh, create all these step definitions in our exi existing uh, basic step definitions um, class. So as usual, uh, we've been capturing uh, the uh, enums using the capture all um, parameter type in Cucumber. So this is the number of books and the second parameter is the topic. Okay. So that's how we want the uh, signature to look like. And what we want to do is our library actually gives me um, the uh, books um, by topic here. OK, so I have here the books by topic, uh, uh, you know, a map. And what I want to do is I just want to assert if I, uh, you know, fetch the books um, by topic uh, using the topic parameter, then uh, I just need to assert that it's equal to the number of books. Okay. So that's the assertion that I would uh, write. <coughs> and obviously, you know, I need to make repeat these steps for all of the um, methods that I have here, right? I mean, obviously, I could have just extracted a method and just call it but you know, I think you get the idea. So obviously, let's uh, do the same thing uh, in terms of parameter parameters for the rest of the methods here. And obviously, we have again to replace the actual uh, enum with a uh, capture all. So when you write it like that, um, you know, there are uh, problems, obviously. So I'm, I'm, I'm using this example to illustrate the issue. So the issue is obviously duplication, right? So notice that the only thing that changes from these, all of these methods, I should say, it's really the, um, the word book, right? It changes from book to books, but the exact text, everything else in, in the um, cucumber expression is the same thing. 
So there is no need to be duplicating all of these methods just because the word, you know, S or the letter S, I should say, you know, defers. So this is where the um, optional text in Cucumber is useful. So you just basically put the text, the optional text inside of parentheses. And now this expression will match, um, you know, words that have uh, just a book or books word. OK, so and clearly you do not need any of these um, methods, right? So notice that this, all of these um, a cucumber um, steps are being mapped uh, or matched, if you want to think it that way, by this step definition. Okay, so let's uh, run the test and make sure that it passes. And as you can see, the test passes. Okay, so that's the uh, optional text in Cucumber. So let's introduce the alternative text. So let's write a new scenario, uh, which is simple example with alternative text. Okay, and as usual, let's do given that my library is initialized, and let's say that I want to write something similar. Uh, then I have. Uh, one, uh, let's say, book uh, with topic um, novel in my library. So it's basically the same step as before. Uh, actually, I say one. And let's say that in addition to refer or, you know, I would like to have the option to refer to a book by by the word book or say title, right? So I want to say write something similar here, but I want to say that I have one title, you know, with topic novel, for example. OK, and obviously, you know, you, you could have done the same thing for the, you know, for the um, examples where I have um, actually you would have written this and just to be a bit more descriptive. So then I say I have five books with topic computing or five, you know, titles, for example, right? So let's implement this again, um, all of the step definitions in the same step definition class. And as usual, uh, we capture the um, enum, um, you know, using the capture all, the signature, the parameter list, as usual, it's an int and the topic enum. And um, again, you know, notice that the difference between this expression and this expression is really that, you know, um, so I would obviously solve the problem between this example and this example with what we just learned about the uh, optional text. So we don't need this step definition. OK. And how are we going to solve the problem of between these two? Well, it's using the alternative text in Cucumber. So the alternative text is basically using a forward slash. So you use forward slash and you put that and that basically handles it. So what we have here, we have here two concepts, uh, you know, two syntaxes capturing two separate concepts. One is what's with inside the parentheses is an optional text. So again, this expression captures, I have, you know, N book or n books, right, with topic blah in my library. But because I have the forward slash here uh, and the forward slash is for the alternative text, it also captures I have n book with topic, say, computing my library or I have n titles or title with topic blah in my library. And that's what you see here, right? So all of these examples using the word book or title are captured and the plural option, options as well are captured. OK, so as usual, let's run the test and make sure that it passes. And as you can see, it both uh, scenarios are passing. OK, so lastly, let's introduce the concept of escape sequences. OK, so simple example with escape sequence. All right. So here it's a very simple thing that I want to write. Simple thing, given an example um, of an escape sequence. Yay! So let's implement this as usual. 
in the same step definitions and that's how you escape it you know uh, the uh, plugin that i have here for cucumber it's already you know it's already um, escaping it for me right so the way to escape um, the parentheses which as i just introduced the concept has a special meaning of um you know in, in, of capturing optional text is to, is to use of uh, backslash right the reason why you need to use backslash backslash is because you know the backslash in java has a special meaning you know uh, so you need to to make the backslash literal and pass it onto cucumber you need to escape uh, twice okay so now with this you can uh, you know basically use um, the uh, parentheses as literal text in your cucumber okay i hope you found this lesson useful thanks for watching